I'm Sharon Bill, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I get busy chatting away, I just want to add a disclaimer. This is the same for every vlog, I think, or most vlogs, uh, certainly, where I'm explaining a principle or a theory that needs to be worked on. I'm not standing on my soapbox pontificating about a topic that I've got completely sorted and I've got this sorted and now I'm telling you how to sort it at all. I'm sharing my thoughts with you on things as I'm dealing with them as well and this topic in particular is um, one that I definitely need to continually redress because routine and regularity is not something that I would naturally lend towards my personality and just, I don't know, I, I never thought of myself as a, a rebellious sort of person before but something inside of me rebels at being told what to do at this time of the day and that time of the day. Even if I've told myself, um, which is a little bit strange, um, I, I envy those who find it more easy to adhere to a routine and I know that some people have a day for this and a day for that and a time for this and a time for that and I just can't work that way at all. Um, on the one hand my life just doesn't seem to lend itself. I might try and it just doesn't work out. There aren't enough days to do what I want to do. There aren't enough hours in each day to do the same thing every day, you know, to cover everything that I want to do. Uh, and I have to plate spin and rotate things round to fit everything in. Uh, but naturally, I just I just balk at that. Um, and I'll just become overwhelmed with this desire to go off and do something completely different. And that's okay to a point, but I definitely do need to redress that. And I always have to keep bringing myself back into touch to keep that essence of routine to a point. Otherwise, what I end up with for sure, and I think it's easy to go down this road, is you end up with decision fatigue. I don't often like to use these labels to excuse sort of negative behaviour patterns, but I do think it's a valid topic and I know that I definitely do end up in this sort of a cul-de-sac if I don't keep some aspect of routine. Um, because if you have a, a chunk of time and suddenly you're sitting there thinking, well, what shall I do? I could do this, I could do my practice, I could do my theory, I could do my study, uh, I could do the housework, I could um, sit and read a book and relax. And what I end up doing is neither of those. So I'm not working at best practice, neither am I relaxing, enjoying myself, and it's just a, a complete waste of time, and my brain ends up firing off in all directions, and then I'm dissatisfied because I haven't done what I want to get done. And so what I've done, and what I have to periodically do, is sort of give myself a little bit of a timetable. However, there is no point, it just does not work for me, to micromanage my time where you know breakfast is this time lunch is this time and uh, between this o'clock and this o'clock I'll do my piano practice and then I'll spend 10 minutes or half an hour doing emails and then I'll do this this and this it just does not work and I, I really don't like to live so prescriptively uh, it, I don't enjoy it I find it very stressful I find it very very dull and boring I don't find it helpful at all, but also it doesn't work because, I mean, my time, I don't think anybody's time is entirely their own. So you might have planned to do this, this and this, and then the phone goes. Well, that's that gone to pieces then, isn't it? But to have no plan at all just ends up squandering time and then you're not achieving what you want to achieve. And so what I've done and what I've found really helpful is a basic timetable. So I got my coloured pencils out and just gave myself a basic timetable. Not really to the o'clock, so not micromanaging, but in chunks of time. It's funny really, because actually on this timetable there are some quavers. 
So it looks like, oh, that's for music practice. 99% of this is to do with music one way or another because it's my job. It's also my hobby. It's what I do as work. It's also what I do for pleasure. Uh, so most of that's actually music. That's just my little code for um, a certain aspect of it. And I've colour coded it, but I've not allocated massive sort of divisions of um, this and that. I've kept it quite basic in chunks of time. And th there are two reasons for that. One, it allows me a bit of leeway because then I can work as I feel inclined to work when I've got that opportunity. So it gives me some freedom of choice so I don't feel too hemmed into a timetable. Uh, but also I don't think that's always helpful either. And because you've got so many thing, things to fit into the day. And it's that old analogy, I'm sure you've come across it before, where um, you're given, you're shown a jug full of big bricks. And the question is, can you fit anything else in? It's like, well, no, it's full of bricks. And then the demonstrator finds some sand and pours the sand in. And that fills in the space between all of the big bricks. And it's like, well, is it full now? Well, yeah, it's definitely full now because all of that sand. And then you fill in water on top of that. And the water kind of fills in all the little small, tiny spaces there. And then, yeah, OK, it's really full now. And the moral of that little demonstration is you put the big things in first and then the little things fit in around it. If you were to put the water in first... That's it, there's no more time. So, you know, I won't timetable in little bits and bobs like, I you know, do a bit of laundry or go and eat my lunch or whatever. I'll just fit those in as and when. Some people prefer, you know, if you, if you have a lunch break, well, that's your lunch break and that's what you do. But my timetable doesn't work like that. But I do find it definitely helpful to have chunks of time and so I've put in the things that I absolutely must do first and we do that anyway don't we I mean if you're in employment if you've got a job you first of all whatever you're thinking of allocating your time you go to work and that's the first thing you do and then you fit the other things around so if you're going to work you have to fit your music practice or music studies around that time, don't you? So then you fit those around. Um, so it's finding what works for you in those times of fluidity of choice that you can work with. And so if you've got to fit in, if you've only got to fit in 45 minutes of music practice, then, you know, you can pretty much find a slot for that. And a regular slot to a point, I think, is helpful. But... Do you prefer to uh, do your music practice in the morning? I certainly wouldn't be able to um, enjoy focusing on music practice first thing in the morning. I just, I just can't focus, you know, after we well, have my breakfast digesting. Although, <laughs> little aside here, the, the balmy days of breakfast are over for me now because some friends gave me a Fortnum and Mason's hamper for it as a gift. And the, the marmalade was absolutely divine. And now I've got to sink to lesser brands again. It's all a little bit disappointing. But however, I digress. I, I couldn't just jump into scales, metronome work. I wouldn't like to do that. So I find it easy to ease into the day, deal with correspondence or you know, a bit of paperwork or whatever. And, and then I'll be free to do a bit of deep work on the piano or, or whatever it is I need to do. Um, sometimes I would prefer to work at night, I'm a bit more of a night owl, however it's not conducive to the rest of the family, not just the noise, but at the end of the day I perhaps don't want to be just locked away, we've been, we've been away doing our own thing all day anyway, it's nice to just have an hour um, together really, you know if you're sitting and reading a book together or something, just a bit of together time, however there are things that I want to study just as a matter of choice and so I can give some time in an evening to that study because I can sit and read a textbook just as happily as I can sit and read Jane Austen. So I've allocated study time in the evening because I can do that to fit in with what's going on with the rest of the family. And of course it won't be every night but I've given myself that general chunk of time 
and then I've got sort of time around if I'm teaching or time to fit in um, and so I'll perhaps do some um, videos then or I can fit in time like that and I think it's just really important to be fully aware of what works for you but I do think giving a little bit of routine is really, really important. And um, I have to say, since I've got my pencil crayons out <laughs> and I've done my timetable, it's really cleared my head and I just think, yeah, I can fit in what I need to do and what I want to do. I've just got to be a little bit wise about how I do that. So I do hope that's helpful to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.